One day, when I was age 20, I was in the library reading a book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Swartz. This book made some great impressions on me, so much that I started thinking, why is school not teaching simple principles like this? Coupled with my existing anger about the fact that school teaches every kid to be an employee, I started a club. I never for once tried to make money from this new mission. It was a mission to deliver the human race and the objective was to show young people that working for big companies isn't the only way to live. Building a big company is one of the available options. I'm taking this story somewhere and I'll be glad if you can stick with this video as I'll try to show you one common habit that is the reason why most people are poor. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. You see, one common habit that makes most people poor is selfishness. I get it, every human is selfish and that's not necessarily a unique problem. Your selfishness becomes your woe only when you don't try enough to think about other people's problems as you carry yours around. Thinking of the world around you In the year 1998, when Larry Page and Sergey Brain started Google, the mission is to put together all the world's information. In their thinking, if information remained difficult to get as it was, that is not going to be good for the progress of the world. Were they thinking about the possibility of making some money? Most likely, but the point here is that they were out to contribute, they were out to serve. They were willing to put, pull some triggers and try to make the world a better place. In other words, they were selfishless. You can't be rich as long as you only think about yourself because money only follows service, service to other humans. Henry Ford lived in an era where automobiles belonged to the rich. He was going to sacrifice everything he had to change that. That was a service and that was the reason he became one of the richest men in his generation. You may not like Mark Zuckerberg or think that he is evil but we must understand that he did a good job of connecting us which is so helpful for the world. That he does a few wrong things along the line doesn't make him a complete demon. My point here is clear. Think about the world around you. Think about other people and their problems. Think about how you can contribute to make the world a better place because that's how you can be rich. Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough people get what they want, you will get what you want. Think about that. If you can figure out how to help people to get what they want, you can get what you want. So far, I've given many examples of the people who contributed to the world by ways of physical products or services. But that's not the point because human ones are much more than few things. People want to laugh. Making them laugh is a service and that's the reason why many comedians are rich. People want whatever music they consider good and that's the reason why many musicians are rich. Many books have changed the world and some people wrote those books. That's a service. My point here is, if you want to be rich, you have to give. You have to serve. You have to contribute generously to the progress of the human race. The problem with most people is that they are selfish. They only want to get. They don't want to give. Your problem is money. In the year 1984, Richard Branson booked a flight from Puerto Rico to the Virgin Islands and for whatever reason, his flight was cancelled. What most people do in situations like this is to complain and look for who to blame. Branson thought that was a bad service from the airline and he would do something about it. That was how Virgin Airlines was born. Now, you have two options in life. You could live in your shell and complain about all your problems or you understand that other people complain about what you complain about and if they complain about what you complain about, they surely need someone to solve the problem and that's you. Anything I hear people say is that, but the rich are selfish. Another thing I hear people say is, is that, but the rich are selfish. A whole lot of people believe that the rich are selfish and yes, they are humans, but Deep within the heart of everyone who has ever built any significant wealth is a love to make the world a better place. Yes, these people, because they are humans, could misuse the power the wealth brings them, but if you take the time to look at their roots, you'll see the passion to serve in everyone, passion to serve in every person who ever becomes rich legitimately. You don't have to build the next Google. Most of us are easily tempted to believe that being successful means being the president of our country 
or being the owner of a billion-dollar company? Well, that's not true. A study has shown that your level of happiness doesn't increase with additional money you earn immediately after you earn $75,000 a year, or let's call it $100,000 or even $200,000. The point here is simple. You don't have to serve a billion people before you could be a successful person, but you have to serve. You have to contribute. You have to stop thinking only about yourself and your problems. My personal story. I started this video with a personal story, and I promise to tell you the details of the story. You see, when I got angry about the fact that school doesn't give education about money, my objective was to create a school that can help young people to know about how money works. I tell you honestly that I never intended to make a dime from such an effort. I was simply angry and wanted to do something about it. I started that club in the year 2007, and as time went on, I thought I could use the internet to achieve more. This YouTube channel is a result of that same passion. Now the question is, do we make money from this channel? Yes, we do. But if we had set out to make money in 2007, we probably wouldn't have this channel today. What is the point or message of this video? I want you to think less about yourself. I want you to think more about other people and their problems. Though you're human and it's fine that you're selfish, work hard to overcome your problems and think about others for a few more times. Love people. Be passionate about other people. Stop being selfish all the time. Be willing to serve and solve problems for people because that's the only way you can become wealthy. Winston Churchill said, "We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give." Thank you for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.